Artists need support. We need government support. We need loans. We need intervention progress. What do you make at Indie Rockers? We make uh, furniture out of them. We make carpet out of them. What do you do? I say, honey, what you do to me? No, no. It's time to get lost in the shuffle. Join correspondent Brad Katz, Tim Foyset with news, and your host, David Mannheim. Shuffle, the best music show, not on VH1. Tim, keep your foot touching the deck. Our indie rockers, yeah, you got this? Right here behind me are indie rockers who refuse to speak about indie rock. Take a look at them. Well, because you can come to a show at Irving Plaza, a sold-out show with 1,200 people, and see Doug Marsh, you know, half balding, you know, and a little fat and everything, but he's making f***ing music, you know, and that's what it's all about. Who cares what you f***ing look like? And that's what I like. There's a guy out in uh, Indiana creating his own music. He's not listening to the f***ing corporate bullshit up on 57th and 5th. He's making music. That's what I like about Indie Rock. When I think of the Indie Rock scene, I think of like Olympia, you know, K people, and I think of Chris Aquino, and I think of you, you know. I think of people that are like what I consider my community, you know, because I don't have a community of like a church community or I don't go to school or have a, have a job or anything. It's like those are, that, that, those are the people that, you know, belong where I belong, people I belong with. I have the same basic, you know, ideas about the world, same sort of politics. And, um, and usually, you know, the same reasons for loving music, you know. Built to Spill is really good too. I think maybe Built to Spill is up there with pavement, maybe, but probably, but definitely not. I will say with a straight face <laughs> that Pavement is the greatest rock band of all time. Is Pavement the greatest rock and roll band of all time? Um, no. most towns there's a small club where uh, bands play aren't signed to labels and they have a little uh, community of like-minded bands and they hang out together and they just make them make their own records and they really aren't in the mainstream uh, swimming towards like the mainstream perhaps those bands would be like the indie rock community it's a scene that supports itself um, probably centered in mostly college towns or uh, larger metropolitan areas of the country. I, I would, cynicism plays a big part. I'd say that the whole self-deprecation thing is one of the most important parts of indie rock because everybody always seems to be laughing at themselves. Um, and I don't, I, don't know why, I don't know why. What do you make of indie rockers? We in make uh, furniture out of them. We make carpet out of them. Yes, yes. Indie rock. Anything with an indie rocker. These indie days. rock uh, died with the mass consumption of alternative culture it's about 1996. Rock. Indie rock died in about the mass alternative futurism of culture rock. and um, conglomerate. Um, I believe that, but let, let's just imagine it's yes. 1996. Yes. Yes. Okay, Dave. This is the pre Tell me. Toy days. Exactly. I mean, now, you can build anything you need out of an indie rocker, but this is pre. Indie Rock Lincoln Log. Pre-Lincoln Log Indie Rock. 
That's what I'm saying. Like Lego. I'm talking back How long has it been since you've li listened to a Slint record? It's not 1996, it's 1999. Space 1999, yeah, when is the last Dave. Time you listen to a Slint record? I've never listened to a Slint you record. Are, I don't like indie hey, rock. <laughs> Sound-wise, I think they vary. These days, there, there's no one defining sound, I don't think, for indie rock. It's just any band that's doing their own thing and they're on an independent label, you know? Say indie rock is. Indie rock, okay. Thank okay. You very much. Indie rock. Indie rock is generally white guys. Sitting around in college. Smoking pot. Not graduating. A lot of them come here to feel young again. And uh, being really cynical. Yeah. That's what it's all about. Indie rock is struggling pretty badly right now. I, I think it basically boils down to the holy trinity of Guided by Voices, Sebado, and Pavement, who are all aging. And, you know, it's, it's arguable that Pavement isn't really relevant anymore. And same thing with Sebado and Guided by Voices isn't really Guided by Voices anymore. So now, I think with bands like Built to Spill, though, it's becoming more of what it was. There's a lot of young kids. I saw in the audience there were like some high school girls in the very front right next to Stephen Malcolmus, and he was looking down at them like smiling. He was really getting off on it, bringing pavement to a new generation, like Star Wars. As I attend these indie rock concerts night after night, I have to wonder, will we ever know the truth behind the scene of indie rockers? Washed up white rock bands or cutting edge kids looking for the new spirit? I guess we'll never know, huh, Dave? We'll never know. We'll never know. Well, you will never know from watching this piece. I'm Brad. I'm the editor, co-producer, resident indie rocker on this show. Um, I love indie rock, and I'll tell you why. Indie rock is simple, good music. It's by guys that don't know how to play music, and they pick up a guitar, and they figure it out, and, you know, play three chords, and it rocks. What's good indie rock? Uh, my favorite albums, I'd say, would be the best albums of the last 10 years would be definitely Pavement, Slanted, and Enchanted. Um, you have to hear that if you want to know what indie rock is. Uh, Guided by Voices, Alien Lanes, um, Slint's Spiderland. Slint's album Spiderland is incredible. Uh, my Bloody Valentine Loveless, that's an entirely different kind of indie rock. It's uh, the more produced, more thoughtful kind of prog rock. Um, I'd say Stereo Lab is kind of that sound as well. In summation, indie rock is frustrated youth trying to spill their guts the only way they know how, by making a stupid little song. That's it. That's indie rock. I'm Brad. I'll see you again, I'm sure. Peace. Well, first of all, I'm Dave Mann. I'm here with Karis One, the legendary, one of the greatest artists of the last, you know, 20 years or so. Definitely, no doubt. Big fan since I was a little kid and everything. Regardless, uh, tell me about, like, uh, DMX was number one on the pop charts, right? Yes. That was crazy. Yeah. To me, that I was like, oh my God, DMX is number one yeah. on the pop. What do you, you make of that? Well, it's only inevitable. Um, rap music has always been number one from Sugar Hill Gang. It's just that now more and more people are accepting it as such. It's like, okay, now we'll take a look at it. Right. And so it'll be like, okay. And the only reason it's being looked at like that now is, and I must say, I must commend all white youth. Uh, because that's why we're being looked at like that on the pop chart. It's not because of an overwhelming black and Latino uh, buyership. It's because the white kids are now saying, you know what, I'm not afraid of black people. I'm not afraid of their music, their art form. I'm not afraid of going in their neighborhood and going into their clubs like my parents were. And probably for obvious reasons, it was another time. But this is a new time. This is the time that Martin Luther King prophesied right. about. Where everyone wants to get with it. Where everybody wants to get with it. And, and you look now, it's, it's a reverse. White kids are saying, yo, man, I'm just as black as the next guy. And black kids are saying, word. 
Spark it up. 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 The episode sucks when I walk down the block yeah. Reach in my pocket Yo, where's my knock? Yeah. Follows me into the spot, compelling Go check the dread, yes, he's herb selling Up and out he can't, I'm a potential villain It's a misspelling, my guy ain't even hollering Channel one, two, smash in the law Channel three, I make a run to the floor Channel four, yeah, yeah, yeah. What the is on my expertise? I'm in the potential. I'm the one take you over. I got boys in the desert. The boys are lighter. Do the cipher. It's you that I bring it hyper than a little. No dancing roots. And can't tell my ears. I'm like, well, it's your job. But it's your best day, boy. I'm like a vulture. I gotta get more. I get it quick. I said, don't need freak rappers. Steady, let me hit. The bridge is over, 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 the Tell them again, we come to tell them again. Tell them again, we come to tell them again. Tell them again, we come to tell them again. Tell them again, we come to tell them. Man, I keep so making it. I keep so taking it. Bro, I'm just trying it. Yeah. Now, this is going direct to college, so what do you have to say to any, any college kids, MCs, or otherwise who want to make it in the music industry just to give a shot or not give a shot? Uh, higher education should be that, higher education. If you're paying for something that you don't think is an education higher than the one you already got, you shouldn't be paying for it. And what people are doing is they're going to college because their mom said go, their pop said go. My father's brother was a doctor, so I'm a doctor. My uncle was a lawyer, so I'm a lawyer. You have to be able to walk because you're walking, talk because you want to talk, and eat because you want to eat. This is the beginnings of maturity, the beginnings of womanhood, manhood, to be able to be self-governed and to be able to think for oneself and move on behalf of oneself. Now, most college students are still trying to find themselves. So the question is, first decide, do you really want to do rap in particular? Now, if you say, I really want to do rap, then that means you have to have a knowledge of hip hop. If you have a knowledge of hip hop, it'll take you out of the university. Right. You see, artists need support. We need government support. We need loans. We need intervention programs. We need, you know, the government. Millionaires should step down and help these artists, right? What the? I, no. What you're saying is the truth. You know what I'm saying? That's the truth. When you see the car, the gold, the money, the this, the that, you should enjoy it. You should look at these videos. You should enjoy them. You should see them for what they are. But don't try to mimic your life by what you see on television, movies, and radio. You do have to say it. Your top five MCs of all time, if you may. I, I don't like that all time. Okay, top five of MCs of now. Yes. Okay. Up to now. Up to now. Um. Tupac, Biggie, and for separate reasons, uh, their contribution to poetry was dope. Rakim, his contribution to poetry was dope. Right. Right. Chuck D. KRS One. There you go. Thank you so much, Chris. It was a great interview. Thank I you. Appreciate it. Thank you. Which college is this for? It's for 400 colleges. 4.5 oh. million college kids. Wow. Okay. What do you guys say to the kids? Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. Before we get out of here, let me say to you guys: be your own person. Be your own person. Don't get caught up in this fraternity, that sorority, just because they the end thing. Be your own person. And remember, stay intelligent so that the, when they give you your receipt, I'm sorry, your degree, <laughs> you know what to do. Peace. KRS-One, we out. 
Hello and welcome to Shuffle News. My name is Tim Foyset, and uh, today's edition of the show is a special Summer 99 wrap-up. Our top story for Summer 99, Woodstock 99, the 30th anniversary of the 1969 Peace, Love, and Music Festival in upstate New York. This year, tens of thousands of kids trekked up to Rome, New York for the three-day music festival featuring some of the best bands of our generation, including Metallica, Limp Bizkit, Korn, and Kid Rock. Uh, this year's edition of the festival went off without a hitch, except for looting, riots, raping, pillaging, and fires, and general uh, nonsense, if you will. <laughs> Who'd have thought that at a heavy metal show? In other news, one of our favorite record labels here at Shuffle, Merge Records, celebrates its 10th anniversary this summer with a uh, three-day music uh, concert in uh, their home of Chapel Hill, North Carolina. It's called M10K, and uh, the festival featured some of the best in uh, Merge bands, including Magnetic Fields, Versus, Ladybug Transistor, Super Chunk, Portostatic, and Lamb Chop. Well, there are a lot of uh, regroupings of uh, some major, major bands this summer, including uh, ska originators Madness. They regroup for uh, an album entitled Universal Madness. Of course, Madness best known for their one hit, Our House Beyond. and One Step Beyond. The Go-Go's also reunite for a uh, movie treatment that chronicles the history of the band. They uh, embarked on a two-week tour of the West Coast and the Southwest this summer. The Go-Go's, of course, best known for We Got the Beat and our favorite, Our Lips Are Sealed. Uh, Parliament Funkadelic also reunited this summer by George Clinton. Uh, the band back together for Woodstock 99, a performance at the festival. And uh, Mammoth Records will also release albums from Parliament and Funkadelic featuring original members Bootsy Collins, Maceo Parker, and Bernie Worrell including uh, George Clinton, of course. Uh, well, finally this summer, there were uh, many passings of uh, many important people and many of our favorites here at Shuffle. The obituaries include Augustus Pablo, Melodica hero who uh, passed in Kingston, Jamaica. Uh, Bruce Fairbairn, uh, the producer of such bands as Aerosmith, Blue Oyster Cult, and ACDC, passed this summer. Uh, Junior Braithwaite, in, uh, also in Kingston, Jamaica, uh, passed of a uh, gunshot to the ear. Mel Torme passed this summer. Mel Torme. Uh, Mark Sandman of the band Morphine also passed. He actually had a uh, heart attack on stage in a festival overseas and uh, was pronounced dead at the show. Um, and finally, in uh, New York City passings, Coney Island High, the seminal punk rock mecca, uh, closed because of uh, lack of a cabaret license and uh, lack of support from the owner of the building. That is all for uh, this week's edition of Shuffle News. I'm Tim Poisset. I'll see you.
to me why Wanna tell me why love is like Well it's like a bone and in the chain I say honey what you do to me <laughs> Rastafari Where them gone? Some man and no man Them dead and them gone Some a hooligan Some get hooligan Where them gone? Where them gone? Them dead and them gone Them body gone gone Where them gone? Them pente gone gone Where them gone? I am a Rasta man Alone I stand Alone I stand And it's like one more hooligan Stepping on Listen to me, yeah